shit. Run away, damn it. I should talk to her. Greetings, Triss. Geralt? What are you doing here? I've been thinking about Gus. Who I'm looking for. I'm not Yennefer, Geralt. But I can't be like Yennefer. So, what do you think? Triss, stop. You don't like me? You realize one word and you'll howl with pain. Who are you? I'm in your... Not in the mood for jokes. I planned to kill Zuriel quickly, painlessly. But now, I shall not deny myself the pleasure. And who might you be? This is the end, Geralt. I must be out of my mind. Vesemir. Draw your sword, Geralt! Pissing up wind leads to disaster. This time you pissed in a tornado. Do anything stupid and they'll tie you down on an anthill, face coated with honey. You'll scream so loud even the storm riders will hear you. Are you ghosts? Go away, or I'll kill you. Regis! I'm sorry, my friend. <laughs> Greetings, Geralt. Remember me? Is it your doing? <laughs> you like it? You crazy? You're a recovering addict. So you say, yet I wait and wait and nothing. Fuck you. At last, it's over. Use your cock, the cock glass, your war, and it's finished. 
شر میکنی اما میگه حالا سنده من آمران نهی آسازنان فلفش دماش دخسنان dream. I need some fresh air. Regis, just trying to avoid a fight, to protect her. Well, I should check the orphanage. I'll find her if she's there.
Who the fuck are you? Me? Drifter, stranger, mutant, sometimes even by my name. Vampire of Rivia. Very funny, you cretin. Well, come in then. We've matters to discuss. I am looking for a red-haired woman. That's interesting, because we're supposed to meet her too. Why are you looking for her? Our boss has questions for her, about the orphanage and children. The orphanage was attacked and almost none of the children survived. Almost? Nice word, so someone is alive. And we know for sure that Oriana herself is alive too. But she doesn't want to come here. So there's something wrong with here. We are few, and we guard the places where she used to be. Perhaps you can help us, and then our leader, Baron Edward, will give you a decent reward. For what reason are you interested in the children? It's no concern of yours. I'll ask again, polite-like, and you'll answer just as politely. Would you look at that, lads? Vagrant mutts giving us orders. Needs to know his place. Fuck him up! We'll break your legs, Vagrant! Come on, come closer. Gonna answer me? Baron won't be happy. Alright, I'll tell you what I know. Years ago, our leader, Baron Edward, visited Toussaint, where he met a beautiful glass, and a wee boy was born to them. The Baron went with us to the Farlands, where we were culled by battalions of Nilfs. Well, I can't say the Baron liked that girl much as he left her here. However, he recently said we must visit Toussaint again. We came here and found out that she had died of some illness about a year ago, and the boy was sent to an orphanage, to this Oriana. But we didn't manage to find neither the boy nor Oriana. Since that vampire attack, the orphanage has been abandoned. All that remains now is a mess in a pile of children's corpses. The Baron was quite upset, but then we learned that Oriana is alive and in perfect health. People saw her in the city with a wee boy. The Baron is certain that this is his son and very much wants to find this woman. However, she is elusive. Everyone knows her, but where she is, no one seems to know. So, we divided into groups, and now watching for places where she may appear. To be honest, I'm well tired of sitting around here waiting. So if you could find a way to help us, it'd be well appreciated. I see it now. It's a deal. Then you should talk to the Baron. Where can I find him? We have pitched camp on the banks of the lake known as Shade Lagad, near an ancient amphitheater. See what I can do. Interesting. Son of a bandit in the M vampire's laws. What's with the Mothrin? Go and talk with the Baron. Arr!
Not so fast, Roach. Halt. What are you looking for? I am a witcher. Your friend sent me here. Got a deal with the Baron. Well, all right. The Baron's in Beauclair at the moment. Should be back soon. Wait here a bit. Greetings, Baron. Any news? Where's Alfred? He's gone. Oriana killed him. What? But... how? Tell me what happened. She is not just a woman. Maybe a witch. Or a monster. I'm not entirely sure what happened myself. Oh, shit. And who is... It? A witcher? It must be destiny that sent you to us. Actually, it was your friends. I'm Geralt. And he's the famous Geralt of Rivia, no less. Uh, yeah? What about you? My name is Edward. I take care of these fine gentlemen. Sound like common bandits. Any difference? Don't be so prejudiced, Geralt. We don't rob and kill the innocent. I don't believe it. However, I am here about Oriana. Of course. This evil woman, she has stolen something quite precious. And that's why I'd like to contract your services, Witcher. To kill that monster and take back that which belongs to me. The child. Huh. I should have known you'd already figured it out. I'd expect nothing less from a Witcher. Have my men already told you about the boy? Yes. Naturally. Well, we can skip the story then. Will you take the job? I don't work for bandits. We're not common bandits, but that's beside the point. I'm asking for your help as a father, and I can reward you handsomely. I don't want your coin. You fight for a noble cause. But if you return my boy, I will find a way to repay you. But I need more information. Your friend, what happened to him? We set up an ambush outside Oriana's estate. Alfred and I had her cornered with nowhere to go. I asked her what she had done with my son. She gave a contemptible answer. So Alfred motioned for his blade. All at once she vanished. And Alfred, I was covered in his blood. There was nothing I could do. What kind of creature could do such a thing? Uh, must be a kind of vampire. A vampire? Geralt, my son is in danger. You're my only hope. Alright, see if I can find her. Remember Geralt, the boy mustn't be harmed.
Go home. Clear scent of perfume. It is worse than death. Give you wonks, sluggards, sky. Hussie's got to waste thin as a rod, but her bum could feed a pack of hounds. here. Fishermen should know something. Good day. Fish biting? I catch more when it's raining. Did you see a red-haired woman here? Left this site by boat recently. Maybe. Maybe not. Give me a few coins and I'll try to remember. Asking a lot. Too much. How about you do this free of charge, huh? Out of the kindness of your heart. Aye, I I'll help. Uh, out, of, out of kindness. Well, you listen up. The woman came from that direction, by the cemetery. Paid me a tidy sum to take her across the river. She was nervous and dirty, but I didn't ask her about it. I dropped her off near the Cockatrice Inn. She hopped off the boat without saying a word. Hmm, interesting. Thanks. Good luck to you. Can 
Trail's fresh. Tracks lead to this house. Looks inhabited. No sign of the dweller, though. Guess I'll look around. What have I done? The girl has a rapid heart rate, and it seems that she has lost a significant amount of blood. You say she fell and hurt herself. Uh, something like that. Tell me, will she be all right? I'm afraid such injuries have consequences. She may have a chance at recovery. She must drink plenty of fluids and remain in bed. Thank you, Doctor. Take good care of the girl. Another injury like this could prove fatal. Interesting. She seems to hesitate, as though she is experiencing some sort of inner conflict.
clear scent of perfume. Need to hide, see how things play out. Sweet thing. Here we are. Children, it seems there's a matter I must attend to. Go on, Neelin. You and Ignetic get dinner started. I'll be home soon enough. Wolves are sleeping midst the trees. Bats all are swaying in the breeze. But one soul lies anxious, wide awake, feeding all manner of ghouls, hags, and raids. Nice tune. Damn sad, though. Folk have forgotten it. Got other things on their mind. Things like me. You've killed a man who wanted to reunite a boy with his father. Well, the threat of a sword doesn't always bring out the best in me. Fair enough. But the children, you can't continue to use them as livestock. And who exactly are you to lecture me? I know this might sound strange, but I want to help you. I've come across something interesting in your house. So, you've been snooping around. Do I intrigue you that much, Witcher? Oriana, your orphanage was destroyed. You've tried to rebuild it. But you're about to lose it all again. I get the feeling you no longer consider these repetitive circumstances as minor inconveniences. So you've read a few meaningless musings, and now you presume to understand me? I may not understand you, but I do know one thing. You don't have to drink blood. <laughs> Such nonsense, Witcher. Need I remind you of what I am? Drinking blood is essential to my survival. You can't help me. No one can help me. I may not be able to, but a mutual friend may be able to. Look at this. Mm. Regis, Regis. Awfully considerate as always. The act of drinking blood for sustenance is a mere myth. Interesting. He seems certain. Well, I suppose he'd be upset if we tussled, wouldn't he? Even if you kill me, villagers, knights, and other witchers will always come after you, and you know it. You've no idea what it's like to constantly fight to overcome your hunger. Your nature. However... Give me a moment. Uh... 
One who comes from Gerishim must be strong in spirit, merciful and noble. Really, Regis. When we first met, you took so much pride in attacking these feeble humans from above. And now it seems things have changed, apparently. Perhaps, after all these centuries, it is finally time. All right, Regis. I've made my decision. I vow never to feed on blood again. Can I trust you to keep your vow? Unlike your kind, Witcher, we tend to keep our promises. All right, but you must leave to Soin immediately. The guards are looking for you. I suppose it was inevitable. I shall leave this place. Where will you go? The letter you gave me wasn't only meant for you, Geralt. I see. Well, good luck then. I shall take my valuables and say goodbye to the children. Wait for me here, White Wolf. What happened, Witcher? Are you a coward? Why'd you let her go? Despite what you might have heard, I don't lunge at every monster I see, sword in hand. Talking gets the job done for some. Bullshit. I hired you to kill her. Mm -hmm. But I changed my mind. I don't have to explain myself to you. What have you done with my boy? Collect your friends and go. On your best behavior now. Did you hear that, men? The Witcher has demanded that we leave peacefully. <laughs> you didn't think it would be that easy, did you? A little trick. Kill him!
you asked for it. What's the matter? A witcher slaying a human to protect a monster. I'll admit, I'm impressed. Had no choice. Am I correct in assuming that this most troublesome Baron Edward promised a most sizable reward? Here. <laughs> if only all my employers were that generous. Good luck, Geralt of Rivia. Farewell, Oriana. Take care of him, Barnabas Basil. Oh, with great pleasure, sir. Follow me, please. Nice place. I could use a little rest myself. So we shall, my friend. We have witnessed, and in fact on several occasions incited, many great and weighty events. After all that toil, I believe we deserve a bit of a rest. <laughs> <laughs>